and you can see here we're getting very close to a B grade, assume we've got 100% so far. So pause the video now and have a go. Okay, uh, this can be quite tricky, this question, um, but if you notice something about it, um, it's not too difficult, uh, not too difficult. Um, you need to notice it's parallelogram and you need to understand uh, something about parallelograms. Parallelograms, the opposite corners are equal, the opposite angles are equal. So here we've got 2x and 2x, well those are what we call identities. If we put an equal sign there it would be an identity because they are actually equal for all values. But these ones aren't identities, these we can actually make an equation out of. So if I have a look at this one, and get it equal to this one, then I can try and solve it to work out the value of x. So let's uh, let's write these out. So we've got 3x and minus 15 equals 2x plus 24. Now like I did with the previous question, I'm going to do lines going down the middle so that I can show each step as we go. Now with these ones what we want to be doing is getting uh, the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side. What you should always do is have a look and see what which side has the smallest amount of x, uh, smallest number of x's. I don't quite understand the best way of saying that. Looking at this it's 3x on this side and it's only 2x on this side so I want to get rid of the x's from this side. So that says 2x, so to get rid of it, we're going to take away the 2x. So we're going to take away 2x from this side and take away 2x from this side. Now on this right hand side, we've got 2x plus 24 and we're taking away the 2x, which just means we're left with 24. Here we've got 3x minus 15 take away 2x. So looking at this, 3x take away 2x just leaves us x. But that minus 15 hasn't gone away, we've still got to write that down. Okay, we want to get the minus 15 out of the way. So to do that, we do the opposite of minus 15, which is plus 15. So we're going to add 15 to both sides. And so x minus 15 plus 15 is just x. And 24 plus 15 is 39. So the answer will be 39. And so x equals, and we're going to write down 39. And that's it. That's a complete answer. So let's have a look at the mark scheme. And you can see here that they've got the two sides equal to each other, and rearranged and uh, solved it, and we found out that x is 39. Now you could have used the fact that um, all angles in any quadrilateral four-sided shape add up to 360, which is what they've done here. They've added all of them together, but that for me um, takes a little bit longer. Um, it might be easier for some people because they don't have x's on both sides. So if you struggle with that, then that might have been a better method. Um, and there are a few other ways of, of working it out. You could have picked two of the angles on the same side and worked out that they added up to 180 degrees. Um, because they were interior angles, uh, which is what they've done down here.